Welcome to Dangerville. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous has taken the world by storm. Enjoying more than enough success on Netflix and succeeding in achieving something the Jurassic franchise has never done before. Create and expand the lore within the universe in a positive, enjoyable fashion. When the series was first announced, it got plenty of Jurassic fans, including myself, a bit bummed out. We've been wanting something more than the mainline movies for decades and the first thing they give us is a dang kids show? Little did we know that Camp Cretaceous would end up being one of the most enjoyable dinosaur stories that you can come across these days. All this glory led up to the inevitable reveal of Season 2's trailer, which dropped recently. If you haven't got a chance to see the trailer yet, make sure to go give it a watch after you get done here. In this trailer, we got a look at some returning and new dinos that will be appearing in Season 2, and that's the topic for today's video. What are these new dinosaurs? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. Let's get to it then. Starting off with everyone's favorite little guys, the Compies. During Season 1, the Compies had a fun role in the series where they brought a sort of comic relief to the scenes they showed up in, and overall, it was nice to see them have the most screen time in the franchise since The Lost World. I'd imagine their role in Season 2 will be very similar to Season 1, and that's just fine, I think. Nice to have you back, Compies. Next, we have the Ankylosaurus. Cue Bumpy for the hell of it. It's nice to see these armored herbivores back and ready for more action. Here's a question for you all. Do you think Bumpy will continue to grow rapidly and end up being almost fully grown by the end of Season 2? He did go from being like a tiny palm-sized infant to a dog-sized little brute in what seemed like two days, so maybe it will happen? What do you think? Moving on, we have more Sinoceratops making a return. It's nice to see a horned dino other than the Triceratops get some fame, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss the trike. Alrighty then, now let's get to what you all came here for, the new dinosaurs roaring into Season 2 of Camp Cretaceous. She's back! The T-Rex will be appearing in Season 2 of Camp Cretaceous. As good as the first season was with its dinosaur characters, we all miss the Queen just a little bit, I think. So it's really cool to see them not leaving the Rex out this time around. If I had to make a guess, I would say that Rexy won't be this sort of evil villain stalking the kids like some sort of hack and slash killer. Something the Jurassic franchise has done a lot recently. Instead, I think she'll have a role quite like what she had in the original Jurassic Park, showing up randomly out of nowhere in order to really deliver that shock and awe that comes with the Tyrant King. The trailer appears to show the Rex walking around the park, getting a feel for being free once again after the downfall of Jurassic World and her epic battle with the Indominus Rex. And it looks like the kids will have to make sure to stay out of her way if they want to avoid being eaten. What role do you think Rexy will have in Season 2? Feel free and let me know what you think. Moving on to the next new dinosaur to Camp C, we have the Baryonyx. Just like the Carnotaurus, the Baryonyx had a quick cameo appearance in Fallen Kingdom, and although it was only for a short time, fans were happy to get a brand new predator introduced to the series. In Season 2 of Camp C, the Baryonyx looks like it's back to once again creep up on our human characters and create some dangerous moments that will hopefully keep us on the edge of our seats. And now for the last new dinosaur confirmed from the Season 2 trailer of Camp Cretaceous. The Ceratosaurus. We got a nice jump scare moment from this carnivore in the trailer as it bursts out teeth ablazing towards Darius. This won't be the first time the Ceratosaurus has appeared in the franchise though. In Jurassic Park 3, we see this dino appear right as Alan Grant and the Kirby family were digging through the Spinosaurus poop. This was a very brief appearance, but I always remember being so interested in this dinosaur as a kid after seeing this scene and I wanted to know so much more about it. Well, looks like I'm finally going to get my chance come Season 2 of Camp Cretaceous. So there you have it, all the early confirmed dinosaurs for Season 2 because of the trailer of Camp Cretaceous set to air on Netflix sometime early next year if everything goes to plan. There's obviously going to be a lot more dinosaurs than this, probably returning and new, but this was just from the trailer and we'll make sure and let you guys know the other dinosaurs as they're revealed. So I'm thinking Season 2 has me even more excited for the future of this series and the franchise in general, but it leaves us with some questions. What happened to Toro the Carnotaurus? Last we saw, this beast was grilled to a crisp but managed to survive. I'm not sure if it will pop up again or not in Season 2 after such an injury, but I wouldn't be surprised if Toro shows up at some point again in the series. Another question is, if the crew will come across our favorite raptor, Blue, 
I'd say this is very likely considering the timing of Season 2 taking place right after she heads out to take on the island alone. And will we see more herbivore dinosaurs never before seen? All we know showing up for Season 2 so far are the same from Season 1, so we really can't say just yet. Nonetheless, I'm stoked for what Season 2 has to offer judging from this first trailer. For more dinosaur, Jurassic Park, and world content, like this video and share it with all your dino-loving buddies. Don't forget to check out our Teespring store down below for what we think is quality merch, and we shall see you next time. As always, this has been Jacob, and peace out everyone.